Yeah, I do believe that you grow exponentially. I mean, just look at our growth in 2021. It was like a 6x in terms of people. So during bull markets, you gain a huge customer acquisition. During bear markets, what you need to do is just hold on to your community and, and turtle up and stabilize. And, you know, it's build a bear. You just build. And, and so it's a building time now. And it's really the time to talk about governance. It's time to talk about policies and procedures and people. And it's time to talk about good technology and good business models and get those things integrated in and plant those seeds so that the next bull market, you can get another 6X or 10X in terms of community growth. And you can go from 3 million to 15 million or 20 million users and see another wave of dApps. Welcome back to Crypto Savvy, your trusted news source for everything about cryptocurrency. In a recent interview with Charles Hoskinson, a co-founder of Input Output Global Inc., and the Cardano blockchain platform acknowledges the cyclical nature of the cryptocurrency market and stresses the importance of community building during bear markets in order to prepare for growth. However, he notes that the market's trajectory is influenced by macro factors, such as government regulations and political events. Hoskinson claims that the approval of the Financial Innovation Act by the U.S. government could lead to a mega bull run in the crypto markets. He suggests that this act would encourage blue-chip investors to invest heavily in digital assets, while also lowering the regulatory risks associated with these investments. I've been through seven bull bear markets uh, since I've joined the cryptocurrency space, uh, and th this is no different. You, you know, it, it's, it, it could last 18 months, it could last two years, it could end at the end of the year who knows it's any given sunday i mean if america passes the financial innovation act we'd probably see a mega bull market because a huge amount of institutional money would enter and also all the regulatory risk and crypto would disappear the financial innovation act was introduced in june by cynthia lummis and kristen gillibrand republican and democrat senators respectively with the aim of establishing a comprehensive regulatory structure for the digital assets sector Nonetheless, Hoskinson points out that if regulators like Gary Gensler, the chairman of the SEC, are given more authority, the market could potentially move in the opposite direction. This means that if Gensler and other regulators were to take a more aggressive stance towards regulating digital assets, it could lead to a bear market in the cryptocurrency industry. If a blue wave happens instead of a red wave at the end of this year and, and uh you know, people like Gensler and Powered, we could see a mega bear market happen mm -hmm. as a, a massive amount of litigation occurs. And, you know, all these poor entrepreneurs just basically get put out of business by the heavy hand of government. But what is a crypto bull run? A crypto bull run is a period of sustainable price growth in the cryptocurrency market, where the prices of various cryptocurrencies rise sharply and continue to climb over an extended period of time. During a bull run, many investors are optimistic about the future of cryptocurrency and are willing to buy in, which can drive prices even higher. Why it matters. Crypto bull runs matter because they can have a significant impact on the overall health and growth of the cryptocurrency market. A sustained period of price growth can attract new investors and traders to the market, increasing demand for cryptocurrencies and driving innovation in the industry. Additionally, a bull run can generate positive media attention and interest in the cryptocurrency market, further fueling its growth. However, it's important to note that bull runs can also be followed by periods of market correction. So investors should exercise caution and do their own research before making any investment decisions. Hi, this is Charles Hoskinson broadcasting live from warm, sunny Colorado. Always warm, always sunny, sometimes Colorado. In one of his recent AMA sessions in 2022, Charles Hoskinson expressed his perspective on the downturn in the crypto market while acknowledging concerns related to geopolitical tensions and authoritarian governments, especially during the Russian-Ukraine crisis, Hoskinson framed the situation as an opportunity for the industry to learn and grow towards wider acceptance of digital assets on a global scale. Uh, what that translates to is global adoption of cryptocurrencies above and beyond a few tens of millions of people, but billions of people. Despite the alarming global situation and authoritarian regimes, he views it as a necessary step to promote the widespread adoption of digital assets and achieve more equality. He also commented on the apparent correlation between crypto markets and stocks, which he finds peculiar, believing that crypto assets should operate differently from the macro environment. It makes no sense at all, because if the world's going to war and we're worried about inflation and chaos and tragedy, 
you would think that the opposite would be true, that as instability occurs here, that crypto assets are a safe haven. According to Hoskinson, it is crucial not to be swayed by the fluctuations of the market on a daily basis. Instead, he emphasized the importance of projects that have genuine value and purpose, as they will ultimately succeed. He believes that over the long term, the situation will improve and look more promising. Uh, so that's why you have to take zoom out and say, why are we here? What are we doing? And realize that if there's real use and utility and a real purpose in five years, 10 years, 15 years, uh, things are going to look better and significantly better than they were five years ago. Hoskinson mentioned that the current situation reinforces the importance of cryptocurrencies. He explained that through digital assets, people can protect themselves against asset confiscation and authoritarianism. He further stated that this realization will encourage more people to adopt cryptocurrencies, leading to global crypto adoption in the long run. Then what's the current state of the cryptocurrency market and recent trends? Forbes reported in March 2023 that Bitcoin and other leading cryptocurrencies had gained further in February. Following a significant increase in January, investors were becoming more optimistic that the crypto winter of 2022 was now behind them. However, Forbes cautioned that the rising interest rates would likely continue to present a challenge for crypto prices in the coming months. Furthermore, the recent collapse of crypto exchange FTX had led to regulatory and legal backlash, which was only beginning to affect the market. Analysts recommended that investors keep an eye on economic data and be cautious in March. According to a report by PwC, blockchain trends in 2023 would drive significant transformations across the global business landscape. The use of blockchain as the backbone of cryptocurrencies has immense business value, predicted to rise the global economy by $1.76 trillion by 2030. This is because blockchain has become an essential tool for industries that rely on transactions. It streamlines verification during transactions, offers robust security measures, and enhances data privacy and protection. One of the most significant trends in blockchain for 2023 is the growth of enterprise operations that rely on the technology. The decentralized nature of blockchains offers improved security, transparency, and protection from cyber attacks, making it likely that more companies will leverage blockchain for their benefit. And it's a wrap. How do you feel about what Charles Hoskinson has to predict about the upcoming crypto bull run? And what are your thoughts after his statement on more people being encouraged to adopt cryptocurrencies? Comment below and let's engage. Also, please leave a like and subscribe for more interesting crypto-related content. We'll see you in the next video.